In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do proximity backflips, that is, backflips that are close to the ground or even underneath an obstacle. Before you try to do the maneuvers in this video, you should be pretty confident with your backflips. If you can't stop a backflip with the horizon about centered in the screen pretty consistently, then you should be practicing that up in the sky rather than trying to do it down here close to the ground where you've got a lot less room for error. You should also have relatively high uh, rates. Uh, you, if you do the move perfectly but you don't do it quick enough, you're going to hit the ground. So if you're not sure how fast is fast enough, you can watch this video and get a sense of how fast I'm going. You could probably go a little bit slower than I'm going, but not too much slower. All the technique in the world won't make up for the fact that gravity's pulling you down. All right, well, with those disclaimers out of the way, let's get into the video. We're going to talk about proximity backflips. And I'm going to focus on backflips specifically because with a backflip, it's the I think it's the easier one to start with. So you're pitched forward while you're flying, and as you backflip, you pitch back, which is safer because you, you gain altitude if you pitch back while flying forward. See, I'm gaining altitude now because I leveled out, right? So here I'm flying forward and I pitch back and I'm gonna to start to climb just a little for that one because because I uh, pitched back, I leveled out. So it's easier to do the proximity flips backwards because you gain altitude through quite a lot of it. The goal of this maneuver is gonna to be to come out of the flip at about the same altitude you went into it and then eventually to flip underneath things. So for example, Now there's really only two mistakes you can make on this move. One is under-rotate, like you just saw me do there. When you under-rotate the move, you stop too soon and you end up looking at the ground. Like so. Now this is actually not such a terrible thing to have happened because you're looking at the ground, you're probably still basically facing the right direction, and you have good visual reference for what you need to do to correct. Just keep pitching back until the horizon comes into view and keep flying. If you're really smooth on the sticks, you can correct this with almost maybe not letting on that you screwed up. As long as I've shown you an example of under-rotating the move, let me also show you an example of over-rotating the move. In this case, you go too far and you end up looking at the sky. In this case, there really isn't a very graceful way to recover except maybe to do a, a, another backflip perhaps. You're pitched back so you've interrupted your own momentum and you just got to kind of push forward, level out, and hopefully go on with your flying. The good news about over-rotating is that even though you're looking at the sky and you can't really see where you're going, so it can feel really disorienting, because you've probably got up tilt on your camera, you're probably actually pretty close to level or maybe even a little bit pitched back. So in fact, you're not actually going to crash into anything. You're slowing down. Now, you may be gaining or losing altitude. I mean, you definitely need to recover quickly, but you're not sort of pulling yourself into disaster like you are when you under-rotate and now you're pitched way, way forward. Here's an example where I pretty severely under-rotate. If you watch this again in slow motion, you can see I actually end the move and I'm inverted. I'm literally inverted. And here you can see I've returned the pitch stick close to center. I mean to be ending the move. I've begun to raise the throttle. And again, that I mean to be ending the move, but the copter is nowhere near finished the move. And I've already started to correct by raising the throttle some more and going to pitch back some more. Getting the throttle up as part of the correction is important, unless you're inverted. As long as you're facing vaguely skyward, getting the throttle up will help uh, you avoid crashing into the ground, and that's probably one of your biggest problems that you're gonna want to avoid. All right, well, now that we've talked about some of the things you shouldn't do, let's talk about some of the things you should do. All right, so you're gonna leave the throttle where it is. You're gonna pitch back slightly, and that'll cause you to start to gain a little altitude. And then as you pitch back even more past the 45 or the 90 degree point, that's when you're gonna drop the throttle and finish the move aggressively. Now what I want to show you next is doing this move underneath an obstacle doesn't have to be scary because if you pitch back 
you can see I was just flying up towards the obstacle that I'm flying under. As I pitch back, I slow down and I'm just flying up, right? So as I begin the move under the obstacle, it's a relatively safe thing to do. So I'm not really touching my throttle there, I'm just pitching back. So one of the things you can risk as you do this move is that you do the flip and then as you come out of it, you're falling like I was there. I didn't, I didn't flip obviously. You're falling and then you can hit the ground because you can't kind of gauge your altitude. So you see how I kind of uh, pitch back and throttle up a little and I look at the obstacle that I'm flying under. So if we look at that one again, you can see I pitch back and leaving my throttle more or less alone as I start to gain altitude, I finish the move, and as I exit the move, you can see I've even gained altitude. Right? And then I can not exaggerate that as much. Ooh, hit something. Seems all right, though. See, I was climbing when I came out of that one. So one of the things you can be afraid of is just is hitting the ground because you're not watching where you're going. And you don't really have to be afraid of that because if you're doing a backflip, you're pitching back. Front flips are a different story. So a little bit of throttle punch there just to make sure I don't lose altitude going under. I under-rotated that one slightly, but you see it's fine. I just came out looking a little bit down at the ground. There you go. And there's various... See? As long as you're pitching back to look at the obstacle, there's not as much to be afraid of. That wasn't a great one. Another thing that I think is really important is that pitching back and looking up at the obstacle you're going under gives you a visual reference for whether you're gaining or losing altitude. Eventually you can just do this move, a snap move by feel, but until you get to that point, that can really add a little confidence. Well, there you go. There are some tips for how to do proximity backflips and backflips under an obstacle. As I said before, eventually you can just do this move quickly and by feel. If you do it fast enough, you don't even lose any altitude. But until you get to that point, hopefully this is helpful. As always, happy flying.